Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Now, today is one of my mostly requested videos on my actual channel, and I'm happy to say that it has finally arrived. So, you can see we have uh, macOS Monterey VM in Proxmox, and if I log in, you can see that um, we do not have any sort of GPU acceleration, and we do get really slow performance out of this. Like, practically unusable today we're going to fix that you can see we get loads of turn and it's not smooth at all and you can see that it says graphics display 3 megabytes today we're going to fix that so if we head to system report and go to graphics slash displays you can see we only have the GPU at 3 megabytes and also on PCI devices we only have this other communications device Today we're going to fix that. So, we're going to use a GPU pass-through to fix this. Now you're going to need a compatible uh, GPU that's supported by macOS. Today I'm going to be doing the GT630 as my pass-through. So, if I go to hardware, add PCI device and select the 630, I want to click select all functions but leave primary GPU and PCI Express off. If I click add and then start the machine back up, we'll see that it won't work straight away. This is because we haven't installed the kext. But no worries, this is really easy to do and I'll walk you through that. So once we have it booted up, we're going to use a program called Open Call Legacy Patcher. You might have uh, heard of this before because we have done it on the channel. It allows you to run macOS on an unsupported Mac. But we're obviously not using it on an unsupported Mac, we're using it on Hackintosh. But the principle is still the same. So while Safari loads, if we go to about this Mac, and now go on system report that we've got the GPU pass through, you can see we have the GPU here. But you can see we've got no Kex loaded. And same with PCI. It says that the, the drive is installed, but we don't have an output through our HDMI yet. So, let's install the driver. To do this, we need to go to the Open Core Legacy Patcher website, which is right here. So, if we go into that, click Getting Started, click the Run the Open Core Patcher app, and go to the Releases page on GitHub. Scroll down at the latest version and download the Patcher GUI app that will download as a zip file. You can see none of the graphics are smooth at all, but now we are going to wait for it to download. So you can see now that the download's complete, so we're going to Finder and open up Open Core Patcher. Open it. Apple will verify it and say that it's unsafe as it's been downloaded from the internet, but we're just going to uh, click Continue anyway. So, the, what this will do is install the Kex for us. So we're going to click open. Then we'll get a list of options. We want to click post install root patch. And you can see it said graphics NVIDIA Kepler. So the GT630 uses the Kepler architecture. So that's why it's picked that up. All we need to do is click start root patching. It'll ask to relaunch its root. Just click yes. It will ask for a password. So enter your password. And then we'll be ready for it to install. You can see it's doing its thing now. So it's making sure that it's verified and doing its thing. So um, let's wait for that. You can see that it's starting to do things. And now it's rebuilding the kernel cache. That will take quite a while. So let's wait for it. So you can see it's finished. So if we click reboot. And restart. Now we are ready to see if it comes up on the display, so let's do that. You can see that we have the Apple logo. And if we switch over to HDMI 3, which the GT630 is um, built into, you can see that my uh, login page is there, directly through the GPU. So, does the keyboard work? Yes, it does. So, let's enter our password. 
and wait for the login. So apologies for not screen recording this part. I just thought I'd show you so you know it's for real. So you can see here it still says that it's five megabytes and you might be like, well, why? If we go to system report and go to graphics displays and give it a moment to load, you will now see that the GT630 is now here. And you can see that it's supported Metal GPU family Mac OS 1. And it's picked up that it's got 2 gigabytes of VRAM. So we can do things that are hardware accelerated, such as minimizing windows and things like that. But if I show you how it works, if we go on system preferences, displays, you can see that it's mirroring the default Proxbox one. Now you might not want it to do this, but sadly that's the only way to do it at the moment. So I'm going to set this to 1080p. And you can see now that we're in 1080p. So I thought just before I uh, finish the video, uh, I'd show you how we get in Geekbench using the Metal Benchmark. You can see I get 1746. This is in Proxmox. When I did a test on Burr Metal, this is what I got. You can see it's 1,239 uh, on the Burr Metal, so we actually get better using vir virtualization. So there's actually no overhead uh, from doing this. So, anyway, let's get on to ending this video. So, that's it for this video. I hope it worked for you as well as it did for me. But thanks ever so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.